people so let us look at uh, ENT we have so many sections here in ENT ear nose oral cavity pharynx larynx trachea thyroid gland esophagus so all these are the sections that we will be dealing with under um, each there are a lot of chapters like under the ear you have to know the anatomy of ear etc so let us start off with the anatomy of ear so in anatomy in head and neck chapter you have looked at ear correct so let us look at what we have seen about the ear so ear basically there are three parts here you have the external ear right then you have the middle ear here marked here and then you have the internal ear three parts they have given so external ear what and all are there right so look at this external ear you have the pinna then you have the concha right then you have this external auditory meatus correct in that there are two parts the cartilaginous part first and then you have the bony part then you have the tympanic membrane which is going to be the that is the eardrum which is going to be the boundary between external ear and middle ear okay then let us look at middle ear in middle ear you have seen the tympanic cavity all these bones we'll come to the details the stapes malleus incus you remember all these bones so you know this middle ear schematic diagram showing the boundaries of uh, the middle ear so basically middle ear what and all they are showing here so here you have the ear drum they have kind of opened it and kept it here so inside you are looking at what the middle ear cavity so here what are they showing this let us say is a part of the brain okay the cerebral hemisphere but anyways just look at the inside part the tp that is the tympanic plexus are there here here you have the oval window right here you have the oval window here you have the round window and here you have the facial canal here they have shown you the corda tympani nerve right going on the tympanic membrane then what else you want to know here lot of other things here internal carotid artery internal jugular vein here so guys just understand that this is the lateral wall right this is opening to the outside so inside what were you seeing this is the medial wall it will be this will be the posterior wall see this guy is facing here so this is the posterior wall this will be the anterior wall this will be the roof and this will be the floor correct did you understand you got the picture right this is the medial uh, this is the middle ear okay let's go wall by wall what will you see here this is the posterior wall posterior wall what will you see aditus ad antrum remember some aditus ad antrum then fossa insidus right fossa insidus then you should be seeing some pyramid which is marked here as p this is a pyramid here you can see a pyramid so this is a conical bony projection okay then you have the vertical part of facial canal you have the vertical part of facial canal then you have a posterior canaliculus for corda tympani okay so you have a posterior canaliculus for corda tympani now look at the lateral wall guys what do you see in the lateral wall you will see the tympanic membrane corda tympani nerve all that right are you able to see tympanic membrane corda tympani nerve let's look at the roof now what will you see in the roof a thin plate of bone okay a thin plate of bone you should see here so a thin plate of bone in the roof a thin plate of bone it is called as tegmen tympani so here you can see tegmen tympani right so then what will you see let us go to the medial wall now so medial wall is what you are looking at directly you are looking at that right so this will be the medial wall because you can understand right this guy is facing like this so this is the medial wall lateral wall they have opened it so you have opened the tympanic membrane and you are looking inside at the medial wall so there you will see the promontory this pm marked pm here right this is the promontory so basically it's a rounded prominence in the center okay then you have the oval window very obvious here this is the oval window 
right? This is the oval window, then you have the round window. So this oval window is also called as the uh, fenestra vestibuli and round window is called as fenestra cochlea, okay? Then you should be looking at the sinus tympani. Here you have the sinus tympani, right? Sinus tympani. Then you have the prominence of oblique part of facial canal. So the prominence of the oblique part of facial canal in the medial wall, you should be able to see this. Then prominence of the lateral semicircular canal of the internal ear. Prominence of the semicircular canal this one, prominence of the lateral semicircular canal of the internal ear. Okay. So let's move on to the anterior wall now. So anterior wall, what will you see? Internal carotid artery, right? I think we didn't do the floor, right? Floor, you will see the jugular bulb. Okay. So that is the bulb of the internal jugular vein. A tympanic branch of glossopharyngeal nerve pierces the floor, so you can see the glossopharyngeal nerve, tympanic branch, pierces right between the jugular fossa and uh, it enters the tympanic cavity and forms the tympanic plexus, okay? So you have understood the middle ear anatomy. So guys, there are three bones, okay, malleus incus tapes. So now let us move on to the internal ear, okay? <clears throat> so internal ear, what and all are you able to see? This is the internal ear. So in internal ear, you have the bony labyrinth and you have the internal acoustic meatus, semicircular canals, vestibulocochlear nerve, cochlea, right? Then you have the bony part and the cartilaginous part of the auditory tube, leading uh, all these leading to the nasopharynx, okay? Look at the Nasopharynx shown here. Look at the three bones again here. Malleus, incus and stapes. M-I-S you can remember. Malleus, incus and stapes. The stapes actually see it is uh, shown here with the oval window. Look at the uh, inner ear again here. What you see here, you have the anterior semicircular canal posterior semicircular canal and the lateral semicircular canal. Okay. Now look at the labyrinth. So you have the bony labyrinth and the membranous labyrinth. So bony labyrinth is a series of cavities or channels present in the petrous part of the temporal bone. Right. So it is a part of the bone. Uh, you have seen the temporal bone. Right. So it is a part of the bone itself in the skull. <clears throat> Inside that you have the membranous Membranous labyrinth. Okay, so membranous labyrinth between bony labyrinth and the membranous labyrinth, you have the perilymph or the periotic fluid, right? Now the membranous labyrinth is situated where inside the bony labyrinth. The membranous labyrinth, okay, it has two portions, the vestibular apparatus and the cochlea. Cochlea is responsible for the hearing. Vestibular apparatus is responsible for the posture and equilibrium. We'll show you that. Wait. So then it is this membranous labyrinth is filled with what? Endolymph otic fluid, okay, endolymph and otic fluid are in the membranous labyrinth. It will have a lot of potassium ions, okay. So that's why you remember whenever they give diuretics and all, they would have told you that it will lead to hearing loss, right, loop diuretics can lead to hearing loss. Why? Because it will affect the uh, potassium and all that levels. Guys, the thing is there are a lot of fine details, okay. If you want, you can try to understand within the cochlea, right, inside the cochlea what you can see here that uh, spiral thing which you saw, right? Inside that, each of it, when you cut it open, three parts are there. In the middle, you have the scala media. Then uh, you have the scala tympani, okay? And here you have the scala vestibuli, okay? So scala vestibuli, scala media, scala tympani. And in the middle, whatever is there, it is called as modiolus, modiolus, okay? Then there's something called as organ of corti. Okay, so look at this cochlea. In cochlea, what and all you know already, just try to understand that. You have the scala vestibuli, scala media, scala tympani, that much you know, right? Now here you have the organ of corti, right? Where is it shown? In the scala media, okay, which all this has endolymph, right? They have shown organ of corti, right? So basically organ of corti shown here in detail. 
you have the hair cells right inner hair cell and the outer hair cell you have the tectorial membrane cochlear nerve all this okay so we have come very much in depth now so basically the intention of this uh, video was to get the anatomy of the ear so you have understood that there are three parts here the outer uh, ear the middle ear and the inner ear correct so now in the middle ear uh, you should know some extra things right you know need to know the roof the wall the floor the posterior anterior lateral everything you know all that in the middle ear what and all can be there you know the bones that can be there are the mis the malleus incus and stapes then you have some muscles like tensor tympani stapedius muscles you have you have nerve fibers right you saw those plexus ligaments can be there blood vessels can be there so all these are the standard contents of uh, uh, the middle ear so the three bones malleus incus stapes and two muscles you should remember tensor tympani and stapedius okay tensor tympani and stapedius are the two muscles you will see okay smallest bone in body okay let us look at the smallest bone in the body is stapes so you have already seen this the stapes is attached to what the oval window correct so it is the smallest bone in the body what about the smallest muscle in the body the smallest muscle in the body is the stapedius so basically you have understood that the inner ear what middle ear whatever you saw the contents so the smallest bone and the smallest muscle are in the middle ear okay to some extent whatever possible we have covered the anatomy of the ear okay let us come back and look at the details okay we look at how it works the physiology also we will look at bye bye for now